Hello everyone, Fano here again. In my last tutorial, Drum Rack Tutorial 3, I showed you how to do a customized slicing preset. This time I'll show you how to do some more mapping after you have done some slicing. Let's start here. I have an aim and break, but nothing has been mapped to the macro knobs. So let's say I want to apply the filter to the knobs. I want to be able to control the filter when I turn a knob. So here, let's see, I have the filter frequency. Right click, map to macro 8. Well, let's check it out. The problem here is that the filtering has only been applied to one of the slices and not all of them. But I would like to map it to all of the slices that I have. Well, go here, the filter frequency. Right click and you will see map to all siblings. Click and let's check it out. Well, that's pretty easy and it saves you a lot of time as you don't really have to do a lot of manual labor. This feature is not really available unless you do a little hacking. I will show you how. Open a text editor. Any editor will do. And this is what you have to write into the text file. You're going to need a small hyphen, not the long one, go for the short one. And enable map to siblings equals one. All right, you have to save this file and I will show you where. I'm on a Mac, so hard drive root, users, your username, library, preferences, Ableton, and then select the folder of live that you're using. I'm using live 8.4b7 and here make it a text file and call it options and well I have it there so I'll just replace it and the next time you start up live you will have the same option just try it well that's it for now I hope that's useful for you